What's going on guys? It's Nick and um, I'm doing a video today about how I do my recording and my setup and all that stuff and how I get the face cam which is this right here. So what I use to record is OBS. Uh, I use OBS to record and basically I'll leave a link to that in the description and you can download that. Use a studio version because that works best. Now to make my face cam overlay which is like I said the blue outline around me I uh, use Photoshop for that, and you're just going to do new, and then name it whatever you want, so I'll just name mine overlay 3, and then your width, you're going to do whatever it is your camera records in, so mine's 720p right now, so I would do 1280 by 720, resolution 72, RGB 32, actually no, my bad, 8-bit, and then transparent background, and then click OK. So this is what your border is going to be basically is the 1280 by 720 for me. So then you're just going to want to do like for a basic one just do a rectangle like that and then fill none stroke make it whatever color you want so I'll make mine that and then edit the size of the stroke for your face cam thing. And then once you've done that, go ahead and click on this, and then transform it um, as you need to, and then enter. So there is my border for my face cam, and then if I want to, I could make the stroke size larger or smaller, whatever I want. So I think right about, right about there would be good. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some text put text so there we go I got it now so I'm going to put text in as my name and then I'm going to change the color of it from yellow go up here to your bar and choose whatever color you want I'm going to do a light grayish color and then make it larger like that and I'm going to bring it down to right there on my uh, on my bar and then what you're going to do what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the font. So once you've got a font that you like, um, then you can go into your layer styles and edit whatever it is you want to edit. So if I want to add a stroke to mine, I can do that. Give it a better stroke. And then I can do an outer glow, transparent and black, opacity, style, multiply, noise, zero, spread. And size is what gonna make your actual shadow itself. So the less spread and the more size you have, the less noticeable. The more spread and the larger the size, the much more noticeable it's going to be. Okay, so once you're happy with that, you can move on and go ahead and add a gradient overlay. And since mine's already gray and I just click gradient overlay, it puts one in there for me, and then I can go ahead and do uh, multiply and then opacity, bring it down to whatever I want, or I can also change the scale to make it less of a fade. And if you don't want it so dark, you can go to normal and lighten things up a bit. And then click OK. And then you can readjust your font as you need to. So it's right in the middle and you see everything. And then I'm going to go into my rectangle and I'm also going to add a stroke to my rectangle, my bar here, like so. And then position outside, it needs to be outside. And then that should be it for that. So you're going to click OK. And then now this is all I'm going to do for my overlay. So I'm just going to do File and then Save As and save it wherever you want. I saved mine twice. So I save it once in Photoshop and once in a folder that's uh, just overlays. And then make sure when you save it, if you want to save it in a Photoshop file so you can re edit it later save it as a PSD and if you want it as an actual image you can use make sure you save it as a .png file which is right here click on that and then click save and then OK and then you can exit out of here and then now the magic of OBS is I can actually remove the overlay so now that's gone and you just see my face and then you can go in here and click add image and then I'm gonna name it overlay and then browse and then go 
and find and then select the overlay you have just made. So that one, open it, okay. And then if you scaled it correctly, you can put it in the corner there and then drag it in to your overlay. So there you go, now I have a brand new overlay and it looks pretty nice. I might thicken the edges of the border, but I mean, for the most part, that looks pretty all right. So that's how I make my face cam overlays, my borders and stuff. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see all of you in the next video. Bye.